All right, so I wanted to actually make a video and show you this really, really cool AOI. Okay, so this AOI was not developed by me, so please don't think that I am taking credit for this once whatsoever, but it's really, really a sophisticated AOI. It's really good uh, as far as use. Now, I have went ahead and saved some time, and I've actually implemented this on my trainer, right? On the trainer module that I have, right? So basically, uh, if you come in here and you look um, in my RS links, I've implemented this on this, the trainer that I have. And so that's already done, right? So I've added the hardware that I currently have. I have, uh, if you've seen in my prior videos, I have the uh, digital inputs and the digital outputs, right? Um, and for that, this is what this is going to do is actually going to get the firmware that it actually has. So you can actually look in RS links right now and look at the firmware that I currently have for this module. This is a, a firmware of 2.5, right? 2.05, right? And this firmware is going to be a version of 3.02. Now, this is very, very interesting because watch right here, it says major and minor right here. This is uh, slot three and this is slot four. Now. The first scan in this actually comes in and clears the major and minor, right? So it clears all that stuff. Now I want to actually show you this. <clears throat> now, granted, I just told you that slot three, right? The slot three is a firmware of 2.5, right? Let's just verify that one more time just so before we do it, right? 2.5, all right, so watch. Now all this is clear right so let me show you this now you see that comes in 2.5 so the firmware what it's doing is actually reading the firmware that's currently there and this would be a great great tool to have in a system that you currently are trying to monitor like say for instance um, a, a a restricted industries type are really really highly regarded industry that is looking to make sure they have a certain firmware or certain things in place that they can't have anything else right it's a very 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 good tool now watch now i don't have anything in uh slot four or, or slot let's see did i do slot this slot yet this is uh this one is 3.2 right so if i do this one so right here now, granted, it looks like these are both being commanded. So the command, I wonder, so I haven't, I just implemented this, so I wanted to see this for myself. But it looks like the command is being read, looks like the command is being read right here. So this is digital outputs and this is digital inputs. So I wonder why it's actually coming in and this is interesting because I mean I'm just seeing this for the first time I actually implemented this and I wanted to see why it's actually calling I'm curious on why it's calling for the same thing twice so it actually says oh it's actually using the AOI and it's actually using the major revision down here so this AOI even though it's still not being triggered so if I trigger it it's gonna trigger this one now right but and it's gonna have the the major revision and minor revision down here that's why it's being moved in here but in here it's not gonna see how this is still 2.5 but the AOI is different it's probably because of the way the AOI was developed so it's still very 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 interesting so if you look at this we can come in here and look at the, the logic instruction and look at the path, right? So it's looking at the path, it's looking for module right here. So this is coming in, looking at the path, it's coming in. This is coming in and looking the, the way this is actually set up, right? The way this is actually set up is it's the message instruction inside of the actual AOI is actually set up to look at device who which is very interesting because uh, there's a lot of things in here we often don't look at we often don't use right we often don't we just we just don't use them 
and then they're using that as the des uh, destination right here, right? So they're coming in using that. So we designated the uh, digital inputs or digital outputs based upon that, right? And we can look at different instances up here. So let's look at for this. So this is going to be the, the other one. And we can look at uh, the instance of this, right? But I think it's loading them both in the same message. So I think that's probably why it's overlapping. If I look at this, this destination right here, it may be because it's using the same thing. See, this is a sent. So this is um, a sent of an, an array of 100, right? So it's pretty, pretty elaborate, pretty big. But when it comes down to it, it's using the same one. It's using the same message. So I wonder if we separated that and used a different message, if it would give a different, if it would independently control those. So that would be a, a really, really good, interesting um, thing to try out. So we could do that real quick and say, this would be, uh, we'll change this one. We'll copy this one. And this will be the message. And what, what we'll do is we'll edit it. We'll kill that. We'll paste this. We'll make a new tag. Obviously, it's a message. And then we'll say uh, slot four. And that way we get a new message, right? So now it's a new message. So let's see if that actually fixes it. It may or may not fix it. I don't know, right? So let's see come in here and that will trigger that it actually okay so it actually didn't I don't think it worked yeah it didn't actually work that time so that's interesting so maybe we need to, to uh, fix the rest of it the destination and all that so maybe let's come in here and do that too so this is uh, let's keep this in mind this is a destination uh, of a cent of a hundred, right? So let's do that. Let's come in here, do the same exact thing they did. Let's do that, and let's come in here and do this. Let's come in here, build this like this, and we'll put slot four, and we're going to do a cent of, and it automatically populates to a cent of a uh, hundred. So that's great, right? It's a great feature. So let's do this. Let's come in here and toggle this. And it looks like it did not transmit. So that's interesting. I wonder what is failing in this one that's not making it. So let's open up this. This uh, So the who is done. So it's not actually going done. And I wonder why. Oh, because because this is this is very simple is not looking at device who that's interesting and it's not coming in here looking for this it's not looking because we we edited the outside of it we didn't edit the inside of it so we need to, to look at this right so now it was gonna work right so if I did it again it would work and it did it worked so now if I come up here being that this is separated now it works on this one and it doesn't change the value it actually does change the value of this so that's it's interesting to see that this is still changing the major and minor revision even though the the only factor is it's still capturing the major and minor down here the correct way but what i was trying to see if, if there's a, a simple fix for this up here and it looks like maybe maybe not right because this is looking at the AOI who this is looking at it's using the same name right here so I see okay so maybe it's just a name issue all right so <clears throat> let, let's just try to figure this out let's let's not give up right now let's try to figure this out because this is part of troubleshooting right this is the good stuff I think it, I, I really think this is the good stuff so let's come in here let's put that in here and let's do slot four right we'll do slot four and then we'll come down and we're gonna have to rename this right here 
I do know that, that this is going to affect that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and change this name <clears throat> to this right here. And we're going to edit that just, just as simple as that, right? So the command is done up here. This is going to be the command. We're going to come in here and change the command to slot 4, just like we did. Okay, so is this going to be implemented? Okay, so that looks good. Looks good. Let's see if that works. Okay, let's call it now. And it works. Good. Okay, but the thing is, we didn't transmit down here. You see that? We didn't transmit down here, so now we need to fix that. So we're going to fix this. Okay, so this is all part of troubleshooting, right? This is, I mean, brand new to me. I'm, I'm literally, I just want to show you guys, uh, you know, how functional this is. And this is showing positive right now. It's showing good. So let's look at this one. This one didn't change now. <clears throat> okay, so we have a solution for this. We have our solution for having this work, right? Now, to do a full test, let's save this. And if you recall, in the very first of the video, I talked about the first scan clears these. So let's actually go and put this in program mode. And let's come back and let's run it. And it scans. Okay, so it, it cleared everything on the first scan like it should have. Let's come in here and toggle this. It pulled the data in properly. It should not have pulled any data here, and it didn't. So we're good there. Now it pulled in data here. So this is a very, very, very powerful tool. I, I honestly, I, I really like this this uh, this AOI that got built. So it, it and again, when you look at the versions, you can see how this thing is built, right? So if we looked at any one of these, right? So now we have two of them. We have the independent tags anyway for both of these, right? So um, and let's scroll back on this one. So, so you can see it's coming in here. It's clearing. It, it does uh, the command. It clears this. It comes in and does that. It gets the GSV of that, right? So it does a GSV inside of here. Then it comes in here, does this, right? Then it's looking for a, a bit field distribute, right? Then it comes in here, does a copy. And then it comes in here and does the message instruction, right? So that's that's interesting. It does the message instruction. It does all this stuff inside of inside of this small compact AOI. And it's just that simple, right? Now I got this off of I I believe I looked at this as a sample code. I, I think I got somewhere. I'm not sure. I, I can't remember where. But I wanted to actually show how this was done and show that how this was used because it's very I thought it was very intelligent. I thought it was very sophisticated and, and actually a very, very good tool. As somebody who develops their own AOIs themselves, I thought this was a really, really good tool to get. Uh, so for anybody that uses, you know, hardware, anybody that you know that monitors the hardware that gets put in their process, you can easily use this and say, okay, these two firmwares, you can put it, come down here and add logic in here and say, here is the firmware of the old card. Like you can have uh, add a, a new rung to compare the the, the firmware of this card to a new card if if say for instance a new card get put in or uh, like say for instance it went out and a maintenance tech had to change a new card to a new card a new series or new something you know and they didn't flash it to the correct version or something like that for like say something that was really a restricted industry i know there's a, there's a lot of stuff like pharmaceutical um diff different things that like even you know well any any kind of thing that's it's really like restricted industry has to monitor that stuff so this is a really 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 good and interesting uh aoi and i just wanted to show this i wanted to implement this i was kind of excited to do this and i like to do stuff off the cuff so i like to show how i do stuff and how um even if something it, it needs to be figured out on the fly you can kind of learn how i do it off the fly and see how that goes but again all i did was merely just export this made a new file imported it added my uh, IO down here and then started monitoring my IO by merely just coming in here and selecting my IO from my IO tree. It's really, really a simple tool to use, really effective tool. 
and I thought it was really important. I thought it was uh, a really good thing to share and to, to show how that worked. So hopefully you enjoy the video and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.